This is a Jacob's Ladder, and you have it's basically this cool little mild scientist experiment where you have the neon sign transformer here that outputs 12,000 volts, 30 milliamps, which is a lot of voltage, but not a lot of power, of current, my bad. And it sends it into these two 316 inch rods, bent so that, bent in a certain way, so that the arc has a better chance of rising. This arc is classifying and ionizing the air in between the two rods where it starts. And that air heats up. And because hot air rises, the arc rises with that bubble of air. Instead of just looking at the arc itself, I looked at what the arc produces as an effect of this ionization and plasmication of the air around it. And it was actually really interesting. I learned that it produces quite a bit of tropospheric ozone, generated ozone in the lower level atmospheric layers. To my surprise, I, I thought that because this tropospheric ozone is relatively foreign to the, to, you know, the low level atmospheric levels, that it would be quite dangerous to the environment that it is produced in. To my surprise, it, it is not. There were lots of speculation back and forth whether it was, you know, dangerous or not to the environment, but as my research found, that there is no real severe negative effect of this ozone at low level atmosphere, low, low level atmospheric, you know, sections. I also looked at the difference between this tropospheric ozone and the ozone layer and found that even though they're the same substance, they are really no, they're really not very related. They're like second cousins twice removed. These, they're the same molecule, but the reasons, that they, the ways they show up are so different that they're really completely different things.